Hey everyone, it's your favorite ghost, also known as Sarah. So today we have a yarn haul. Uh, please don't mind the wet hair, I just took a shower. So, today's, so I'm actually losing a Walmart in my area. Hanover Walmart is closing. Only Hanover, none of the other stores, just Hanover. Just getting that out there before I get 10 million comments down below. So they're having, they're closing on the 25th, which is, one quick second, which is next Friday. I went Tuesday. I was going to film this Wednesday, but um, I got home from work that, and I was dead. <laughs> I was completely out of sync and everything. It was not pretty. So I got, so when we went there, there wasn't a whole lot left. I grabbed just about everything that had a tag or colors I liked or want or stuff I wanted to play with and ended up with da -da -da, three bags. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't go last weekend when we first heard about it from my dad. So we're just going to get right into it. And if you happen to see something moving over in that corner, it's just peanut gallery. If you've never been here before, Peanut Gallery, also known as Cora, is my cat. And she kind of does what you'll hear her jingling every now and then, so. Because I have her uh, Halloween collar on her. So you hear her every once in a while, or you might see a blip of her smelling urine or something. So, we're gonna. Let's get going. First bag. So, there was a ton of hometown, Lions Brand's hometown, a ton. I, and if anyone's wondering, so when I did this order without the 50% off discount, it came to $88. And then once they put the discount in, it was down to 44 with a, well, $43 with a dollar for tax because Massachusetts they tax everything except food well that's a lie they so they anyways if you know the Massachusetts tax system look at if you don't look it up say so we're gonna start with so this is hometown so this is a bulky weight so this is a super bulky six which I agree with. That's a super bulky six. So I have a bunch of these. So um, I'm. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. They're all gonna become hats. There's no two ways about that because there's only 81 yards in these. I'm not gonna make a scarf out of it. An afghan. I mean, yeah, I could do an afghan with all the colors I have, but. I don't want to, so. What? Like I said, peanut gallery. So, basically, I could, like I, said, I could do an afghan, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make them all in the hats. Now I'm just trying to figure out, am I going to donate them to charity? Um, particularly, I'm thinking Father Bill's Place in Quincy. If not, um, I'll find an another place. Uh, giveaways, possibly. on. I'm also thinking giveaways on the podcast. And I'm also thinking of doing, um, or just put them in the shop as one-offs. So I haven't decided yet, but so this one is Napa Valley Peanut. Incoming extra light. <laughs> so it's a really dark, rich red. It's it's a basically like a wine red. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, so this I actually might end up buying more of and making something with. But again, it's still this stuff I'm not planning on working with until at least spring. Cause I've as I've stated in other podcasts, if you have, and also if you have not watched my podcasts, please watch them. 
They give a lot more insight to what crafts I do, but some of you can probably guess by all the yarn in my major crafts. <laughs> so there's this one. And then this is, this one's like, so this one is called Tampa Spice. And it's like a fire, it's a fiery, it's a fiery red. It's really nice. Um, so this will also be made into a hat. Like I said, all the hometowns are going to be made in the hats just because there's only 81 yards. Approx okay, I've recently learned with, it might say 81 yards and you make a hat and you somehow end up with, oh, I don't know, quite a few, about three extra yards. It's like, um, normally I'll end up with a yard and a half left. What the hey? So. And this one, this, this, so this one's in a gray line. So this one is called Bayetta Frost. Come on, focus. Um, I'll put the name down in the comments or description. Whichever one I remember. Probably I'll put it in the comments when I post the video. Just as I post it, I'll put it down there. With the timestamp, hopefully. <laughs> but this one's a silvery gray. Next, um, I will tell you most of the skeins that were left are not in the best condition, so. <laughs> this one is Hobroken Honey. Hopefully I'm saying these right. If I butcher names, sorry. <laughs> I have a tendency to butcher names. And this is what it looks like. I know there's a yellow cast off from my, le from my light. I'm eventually going to get a daylight bulb to go in there. So I also got some more scrubbies. Put the bag over there. So these are, so this one's called Almond. Um, I will probably try to get a match. For this one, I will definitely try to get a match to go with it of dark browns, white, whitish brown. I'll try to get that. Um, but these I don't plan on working with yet because I have more scrubby I'm already working with. So this one's not going to happen just yet. Um, if you hear any bleeps or blops off my computer, pay no mind to them. I forget kind of forgot to her normal put my stuff on do not disturb so yeah so and then we have so actually we're gonna hold off on this one until I find the um, meat that kind of the meat that goes with it there wasn't any so I was gonna get some dishcloth cotton like um, this, uh, and if you're wondering why I picked such a light color is, um, my light, this color, you, this is called light Euro and, um, I use Euro and light Euro to make my cleaning cloths with. Oh, and family, if you ever want cleaning cloths, just get a hold of me. You have them. You have ways. You got numbers. Just get a hold of me if you ever want a cleaning cloth or two. <laughs> they work out great for cleaning bathrooms and kitchens. I don't recommend them for windows. Uh, they don't do so, so well on windows, but if your windows are really caked with dirt, go over with the cleaning cloth first. Then, um, anyways, back to the yarn. So, in the next, so, next bag... 
so here's another hometown. This one's called Anchorage Ice. This one's pretty. As you can tell, like I said, they're not in the best conditions. Um, I got three Comfy Cotton Blends. They're all the Macchiato, I believe. Yeah, I believe they're all Macchiato. This is what they look like. I was actually quite lucky to find three of these left. So I grabbed, there was a baby yarn I was going to grab, but there was a stain on it. It looked like a coffee stain. It, uh, it's like, what am I going to do with baby yarn? Or baby colors in this case, because it was really bright, pastel-y colors. Um, here I got Kobu. This is in the colorway beige. And this is a light three. It calls for a four millimeter hook. So it's soft. Yeah, this is really nice and soft. So I'm thinking I'm going to, um, once I'm done with my what's on my mini loom, I think I might throw this on. And this will be a nice, um, just a nice, easy. This is, so it says one ball makes a hat. Because it calls for a four millimeter hook, which I'm not accustomed to yet. <laughs> the smallest hook size I use right now is five millimeters. I do have a four millimeter. Yeah, here it is. This is my four millimeter. Yeah, it's a bit smaller than I'm used to, and it feels a little more flimsy, so yeah. I also have a four and a half millimeter, but I absolutely hate that hook. I hate the style. This is this is a tapered, whereas the ones I normally use, I'll use my uh, big hook, one of my big hooks here. Whereas the ones I normally use are, these are inlines. I love them so much because the crook down there, I know is deeper. I don't know. Yeah. I'll go into more detail in a different video about my crochet hooks at some point in time. So this one, I'm definitely going to loom knit. And in this is 232 yards, which is more than enough for my mini loom. And as I found out, yeah. so I think this would be a good mini loom candidate too. Just because the strands don't seem to hold together that well. So I wouldn't want to try and crochet with it yet. Um, so, But if I need more, I know I can get it at uh, Joanne's. So. Okay. okay. Got there because I'm not there yet. So here's another hometown. This one is a fleck or a tweed. It's called Aspen Tweed. Actually, I have a hat made at the exact same tweed color for a Christmas present for one of my friends. Well, and he could probably already guess who he is. <laughs> so, I gotta have. So, yeah. Okay, so this is another hometown. This is Madison Mustard. It's like, so this is a gold mustard color. And it is pretty. And yeah, all of these are super easy care. So, that's always a plus. 
Okay, now on to, here's two script. So for these, I'm going to be getting, I'm going to get, so for this one, I'm getting red. And for this one, I'm getting green. And I'm going to be adding them into the um, Christmas dishcloths list. So you'll be getting a dishcloth and a scrubby to go with it. Granted, finding a bright red um, cotton yarn is proving to be not easy. I think I'm going to have to order, I'll probably have to order some in from Knit Picks. I think they have bright red. Yeah, I'm hoping they do. So now we're on to the last bag. So in this bag, I don't think, oh, so it turns out I got two of the greens. So I got two of the green scrubbies, which is fine with me. I'll just have to get another red one, which I can do sun, no, wait, what time am I there? It just says I'm only there till about nine. I'll probably stay till I'll probably stay till ten anyways. So I'll grab a all the rest of the yarn, the rest of the scrubbies I need. And actually, after I do this vid, after I post this video and listen through and see what and make sure it's all good because I'm not redoing it. <laughs> so and this is another scrubby I got. This one's called Ocean. Um, I will find a blue match for this as well, whether it be on Nitpicks Dishy or something, I will find a blue match for it. Okay, so this is the other cotton blend. So that's number cake number three. And then I got a black Simply Soft. Um, and speaking of Simply Soft, if you, <coughs> sorry, if you ever order a custom hat from me, Caron Simply Soft will not be on the list for available yarns that I will send you because this stuff, it's soft, it's silky like, and anyone that knows anything about silkiness is it likes to move and groove and it actually stretches out on your hat. I learned that the hard way because I made two hats for mom. I'm actually in the process of making her a scarf now, which will be on Monday's podcast. So, he. <laughs> and I also got a Red Heart with Love. I have actually never worked with this before. And this is just, um, <laughs> so remember how I was saying everything was a little messy at Walmart Tuesday? I didn't, so yeah, I don't think this is Red Heart with Love. I think this is Red Heart Super Saver in white. Because I didn't bother to check tags. I just saw it with love. And I just looked and it says black. That's not black. <laughs> so this looks to be, it's super soft though. Um, Because the with love, I'll have to, I'll um, leave a link. I'll leave a link down below. If I remember, note to self, leave a link. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't bother to check. But six and a half. Yeah, this is definitely not with love because, um, yeah. So, whoopsie. <laughs> Remember, kids, when you're going to a store closing that sells yarn, 
always check your tags because yeah I'm almost positive because here's one end here's the other end that is yeah yeah this is so which works for me just fine <laughs> Yeah, 315 yards, 6 ounces. Don't think it's 315 yards or 6 ounces, because I'm thinking it's more Super Saver, which calls for a 5 and a half. Um, let's see. And this does not look like 315 yards to me. This looks like 364 yards. So we're definitely going to go with this is Red Heart Super Saver in white. Which I don't know when I'm going to put it. Um, so with this one, I think I have some white, I think I have a white tag somewhere I can put on it. So yeah, that happened. Oh well. But like I said, I'll put the link to Yarn Inspiration's uh, website to the With Love. So you can definitely see that this is not With Love. So, yep. So, yeah, that's going to... So, but I don't mind having more solid acrylics. Stan standard solid acrylics for me is Red Heart. I don't mind it. So, yeah. And I think that's about it. And just a reminder that Monday is a podcast day, not a live stream. If you have not stopped by a live stream, you're more than welcome to. I live stream on Mixer.com. My username is GhostGal. It's the only ghost gal. So it's super easy to find. I had yesterday I did a Sims 4 stream. Didn't get any viewers, so after an hour it's like, yeah, um. And I was also uh kinda tired. Yesterday was an interesting day to say the least. So we had a bomb cyclone coming through. And if you don't know what that is, or you don't live in New England where random weather, because <laughs> we have the randomest weather sometimes. We have seasons within seasons. Let's put it that way. So it basically, when I got to work yesterday morning at 4.45, there was no power at the store whatsoever. So my, we started putting stuff away, and then my boss is like, this is too dangerous. So I got sent home yesterday for a good reason. <laughs> I actually came in the door just before 6 o'clock, confused the heck out of Cora. She was wondering why I was home so early. So, well, that's it for this little uh, yarn haul. Next time I do a big yarn haul like this, I will definitely video it again because <laughs> it is totally worth it and I have weight. So I will see you all Monday. And if I don't see you then, maybe I'll catch you on a live stream. So we will see where people end up. Until then, happy crafting, happy knitting, and happy crochet.